guys, it's Sue, your not so crafty crafter. Today I'm here with a tiny little bit of a haul for you. This past weekend was my birthday and we decided to take a little John up to Des Moines and I hit a few stores but I didn't buy a lot. I've tried, been trying to be mindful of my shopping habits, especially since we now have a Hobby Lobby within 20 miles of us. It seems like I'm in there once a week, so I didn't go overboard with my spending for this birthday. So I'm just going to check and see. Yeah, how's that? That's working good. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, sorry, my desk is a bit of a mess. I have stopped filming my What's Up Wednesdays um, after looking at some of the... Um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Reports, I guess. On YouTube I've noticed that I'm only getting like 10 15 20 views on those so obviously there's not much interest and I'm not gonna waste my time doing a video and putting it out there if no one's gonna watch it so I thought it was a good idea in hindsight but maybe not so much so that's why you haven't seen much of me the last couple of weeks um, all right, let's get started with my little bit of a haul the first place we went when we were in Des Moines on Friday was, of course, Tuesday morning. That's why you see this right here. Um, I didn't buy a lot up there. I was looking for some specific items. And, of course, they don't always have specific. They have what they have. And if you find a good deal, awesome. They did have an, an entire end cap display of all the Heidi Swap mink, the machines, the foils, everything. So if you're into that... Hit your Tuesday morning because it seems like they all have that set up right now. So um, that really wasn't what I was looking for. It was an excellent buy. The machine itself was $29.99, but I wasn't sure I would ever use it. So I put it on hold for now. If I make it up in another week or so and they still have it, then maybe we'll see. Um, but the first thing I found was this really pretty paper. Now, if you saw one of my other hauls, I found another pack of paper and I was looking for that same paper because I am going through it. But this was just as pretty and it's a little bit softer muted colors. The other one was a darker background. It's very nice for fall. But this one's a little more fun, I think. So I went with that. And then this is the back of it. <clears throat> basically just some cut aparts really cute so there's that then I found this bag of ribbon from American Crafts I believe is yes American Crafts and it's a 24 pack one two three four five six yeah 24 pack of ribbon I have this in the jute in the different color jutes and I'm finding that I really like using it on cards and I do have some of these individual spools of ribbon from Hobby Lobby that are 99 cents a, pay, a piece. Now, there's a lot more on those, but I'm using those a lot more on cards, too. So I thought I would get this just so I would have a little bit more variety of some colors. And some of these colors, like these right here in neutrals, are gorgeous. And then this deep orange and then these two deeper, like purpley kind of colors would be pretty for fall. And even this dark green for fall. So... <clears throat> That was only $6.99. The other paper, I believe, was $1.99 a pack. And then I got this gorgeous stamp. This is by Stampendous. I left the tag on for you with the skew. And this is a gorgeous floor. And I've been on the market for a large flower stamp, and I haven't found one that I liked. So I thought I'd try it. It was only $4.49. I guess it was kind of pricey for a stamp. I'm not sure. I buy mine from Stampin' Up or online. So it's rare that I buy a woodblock stamp. But this one actually stamps beautifully. And this was the image. I started coloring it just to play around with it a little bit. And it came out so pretty with the actual stamped image. And I think my next step is to go ahead and try and do one with embossing to see how it turns out. So that's all I got on Tuesday morning. Told you it was a small little haul. Then we went across the street and I went to Michael's. And again, I was looking for something pretty specific. I did find one thing that I wanted, but I couldn't find much of anything else. So um, I've been making these tiles, these coasters. It's basically just a ceramic tile. 
and your decoupage, your papers on there, and you put a piece of felt on the back. But I've been reading that it's a good idea to seal them because if the decoupage gets wet, the Mod Podge, it might get sticky. So I found this clear glaze and I used my 40% off coupon on it because this was $8.99. Normally what I buy is Treehouse, I believe, brand at Hobby Lobby and it's only $6.99. So that was a little bit of a steep price for me. But then I went over and I hit the clearance section and I found a few things on clearance. This was, I believe, $1.79. It was 70% off. And it's an ombre pad. Now, the reason it was on clearance is probably because it leaked or something. I'm still getting a decent impression off of it because I made another tile with it. But, yeah, if you really need to use that color, it's probably not going to work for you. So, and f unfortunately, it was sealed in saran wrap, so I couldn't tell if there was anything wrong with it. But that's okay. And then I found these two stamp sets. These are also by the same collection, the Color Splash collection. Same as this stamp set was Color Splash. And these were, you can see they're marked $2.99. They're just darling little stamps. They're on the small side, but they come with stencils. And I think those are really cute. So I'm going to try these with some cards. And I think these are cute. I mean, they're little like semi-circles, but how awesome would those? Those would make awesome clouds. Awesome clouds. So, and those are only $2.99 a piece. I did pick this one up. I was only going to grab the one, but I saw these cactus, or cacti, since it's plural. And they're so stinking cute. So, I grabbed those. And that, I think, is all I got at Michael's. And then I came home, and the next day I went to Hobby Lobby. Because I was still looking for a couple of things that I couldn't find elsewhere. And this is what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Again, not a lot. Um, they have their distress inks on clearance. Now, I've been trying to collect the small mini one-inch ones because you can get more at one time. And I've been using my 40% off coupons for those. And I've gotten a dozen so far. But these were on sale for $3.59. They're usually $5.99. And they've been on sale for $3.59. So I grab two or three of them every time I go in. I made a, a swatch checklist. And I actually have it on my phone. So I'm not buying duplicate colors. And this is the one of the last ones that I didn't have. And I've actually accumulated one, two, three, four, five... 10, 11, 12, 13 of these full-size ones. And I think I only have one duplicate to match a, a one inch. So I've got a good array of distressing colors. And that's awesome. Then I bought, oh, I bought cards. Ding dong. Oh, well. I ended up getting, I wanted envelopes, but I actually ended up, looks like I picked up envelopes and cards. I've got plenty of cards, but that's okay. I made some Christmas cards, but I didn't have envelopes because I made them out of, a paper pad. Normally I buy card packs and I have the card with an envelope and I don't have to worry about it. I tried making my own envelopes to match but it didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to so I thought these craft envelopes would be perfect for them because they're a beige color and they're kind of rustic looking. I'm not sure. I guess I'll keep these but I wanted another pack of envelopes. Oh well. I'll try again later in the week. There were only two ninety nine. These were actually half price this week so that's why I grabbed two. They were both in the same spot, so I thought I was getting two envelopes. Oh, well, live and learn. Watch what you're buying, folks. And then I found this. This was on sale for 11 It was originally 19 I think, and it wasn't on sale. It was on clearance. It was marked down <clears throat> for eleven ninety nine. I don't have a lot of dyes, and I'm just starting to accumulate them. I thought this was a really pretty set. It's six floral dyes, and it looks like they're stacked, so you can layer them. So you can you know, layer them and make layered flowers with them like this. And then make layered ones. And I thought those were really pretty. So I could grab those because for $11.99 for a Sizzix set, that's pretty awesome. It's some Tim Holtz ones marked down too, but I didn't grab those. Like I said, I'm trying to be mindful and buying what I need. And then... <clears throat> I think that's all I got at Hobby Lobby. 
And then I did place an order online earlier last week for some Stampin' Up! products. I did go in active. I didn't have enough orders to keep me active over the quarter, but I did want to get a small order in for myself. So I went ahead and I bought my Stampin' Right markers in both sets of the in colors for 2016-18 and for 2017-19 to because I do have the ink pads for those already. So, And then I noticed that the Daisy Punch was back in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed that because that's one of the ones I have been waiting on and I've wanted it since it made its debut when the new catalog came out and it's been out of stock from pretty much day one. So I went ahead and got that. And I think that's all I have for right now. I know there's been a few little things from Dollar Tree, but nothing really worth writing home about. So I guess that's all I have for now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I do need your help, folks. I did pick up this corner rounder. It's Becky Higgins for Project Life. It's corner rounder. Now, it works fine, except for the fact that I can't get the back off. I know you're supposed to be able to slide this, but it's not coming off. And you can see where it's supposed to slide back in and out, but and I've, my husband and I have tried everything. If you have any ideas on how I can get the back off of this so I can actually use it, that would be awesome. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to take it back because I did buy it at Hobby Lobby. So one thing I want to recommend, uh, folks, when you're shopping, especially at Hobby Lobby because the stuff doesn't scan, they're keying a lot of this stuff in. Watch the prices as it comes up on the computer because this and I've had two other instances, both of them involving these distress inks, where the clearance price was very clearly marked in a yellow sticker right next to the original price and they still rang me up at the original price and I have to go to another line to get a refund. And it's happened twice in the last two weeks. So just keep your eyes open when they're scanning your merchandise, folks. That's all I have for now. It's been nice chatting with you. I hope I can get to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.